Hi YouTube viewers, today we will be seeing about the impulse function, how to generate an impulse sequence. So this is the this is our impulse at zero we have a spike to one and remaining all values are zero. So when we plot it looks like this if you see it's only one at one point and remaining all are zeros. So for this let us open the MATLAB and let us go for a new script and write CLC to clear the screen. Close all, close all the windows. Next you have next you can have that n equals to n equals to you can have from minus three to plus four and you can have y equals to zero space zero one space zero 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 just close it just put a semicolon just put stem of n comma y stem of n comma y next x label x label as x axis as a time period time period I am putting my exact time period and Y label is nothing but amplitude. Cute Y label as amplitude. Just save it. So I am still saving on my desktop on JD Labs folder. So impulse. I have saved it. Just run it. It is asking to change the folder. Changing the root. Yes, change it. Because I was uh, working on. I am working in users, monor, desktop, in the JNT Labs folder. So, this is also our code. And for that, this is our response. So, as you can see, that all the values are zero and at only zero we have a spike that is the amplitude we got it as one but here amplitude is not written but here we have written a time period so why because it is capital just make it small just save it just run run again now if we got an amplitude this was the error the error will be shown here But in this video, I have rectified it. So this is how we can generate an impulse sequence with this small code. Thank you for watching this video. In my next video, we will be seeing unit impulse. Thank you.